get the next topic which is area of polygon by coordinate method. Okay? So all you have to do if the coordinate of a polygon are given and then all you have to do is just put it, write it down like this. Okay? Write it out like this. So you'll have here the x1, x2, xb, y1, y2, y3 and then just write it down like that and when you get to the last point all you have to do is just repeat the this should be y1 sorry this, this should be y1 so all you have to do is just repeat the first column okay so you, you just repeat it that's it and then get the uh, using basket rule okay? using basket rule so all goes uh, this one goes down and it should be positive and then minus to the product of this one and then just divide it by or multiply it by one half and then you'll get the area so let's try number one okay so for number one find the area of the triangle with vertices at 0 0 4 0 and 2 6 and the coordinates of its center okay so let's try to have a Cartesian plane here So it will become zero zero, okay? So we have our first point here at zero zero, and then four zero, okay? So that will become one, two, three, four. So this is four zero, this one, and then two six. So you get two here and then six. So one, two. Let's say that it should be somewhere here. Okay, so let's connect those three. So connecting those, we'll have this is the first one, and then this one, and then and this will be the triangle. So we have to get the um, coordinates of that. So let's put all the coordinates. So this is 0, 0, right? The first coordinate. And then this one is 4, 0. And then this one is 2, 6. Okay. So remember that, note that the vertices vertices are 3 is counterclockwise. Okay. Counterclockwise. So it should be um, like this. Counterclockwise. So it must be counterclockwise is it okay. Okay. So let's try to answer this one. So you'll have here A equal to 1 half absolute value of. So you can start whenever you want, wherever you want. So let's just start in here to so 0, 0. So 0, 0. Okay. So next it should be counterclockwise. So next is 4, 0. 4, 0. And then 4, 0. And then 2, 6. And then repeat the first column, which is 0, 0. So you have to repeat it here. Zero, zero. Okay. So let's get the values. So you get, this is equal to 1 half. And then that the first one is 0. Okay. So going like this and then going like this. Change the color so this is zero and then next one is four times six so plus twenty four plus two times zero that is zero minus um so this one so zero again so zero and then plus zero plus again that would become zero. So this is just one half times twenty four, right? Therefore the answer will be just one half times twenty four twelve uh, square root. So this will be twelve. Okay. And then we have to locate also the centroids. So to get the centroid all you have to do is just um, you are just like getting the uh, midpoint, right? getting the midpoint. 
So just get the add them all and then divided by uh, three. That's it. So it should be uh, divided by three times uh, two plus four plus zero. So this is equal to two, and then y m is equal to one third times six plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. Okay. So this will become two. Therefore, the midpoint. Okay. So P M is equal to two, and this will be the answer. Okay, so let's move on to the next number, which is find the area of the pentagon with vertices at 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 2, 2, negative 2, 2, and 0, 4. Okay, so I already wrote it down here. Okay, so those are the given, and we already have a Cartesian plane. All we have to do is to plot the coordinates. <laughs> So plotting that will have just um, we need two here. So let's say we have one here and then another one. One here and then we still need two here. One and two. Actually, we need four here. So we need four. We need two. Do we have a negative y? Um, Nope, we don't have a negative y. Okay, so let's plot this one. So we'll have 1, 0. So that's this one. 1, 0. And then negative 1, 0. So that's this one. 2, 2. So this is 2 and then this is 2. Uh, next is negative 2 and then 2. So here. And then 0, 4. Oh, we do have... So we have here, here, and then here. And then we got another one here. Okay, so let's try to connect this three. So connecting this three, you'll have here. For some reason, I can't connect them. That's fine. And then here. And then here. And then here. So it should look something like this, right? Okay. So never mind the. This one is kind of off. Oh no. Kind of. But you see the vertices, right? Okay, so let's put all the vertices. So this is P1, this is P2, and this is, what's this one? Oh, this is 2, 2, so this must be P3, and this is P4, and then P5. Remember that we have to trace it um, counterclockwise, so it should be something like this, okay. counterclockwise. So the area now will be equal to uh, one half, okay, and then the matrix, and then uh, we can we have, we must trace it counterclockwise. So we you can just start in any point you want. Let's say that I will start. Let's just start in P one, okay? So P one is one zero, so one zero counterclockwise. So next is P three, that's two two. Next is P five, so zero four. So we're done with this, this, and then this one. And then P4 is negative 2 and 2. So last one is P2. P2 is negative 1 and then 0. And then we have to repeat the first column, which is 1, 0. So this is where you repeat the first column. Okay. And then, again, this is like um, getting the determinant, okay? Somehow. So you have to go like this. Okay. So 
like this, 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 etc. Let's just do it. So that's 1 times 2. So this is 1 times 2, that's 2. 2 times 4 plus 8. And then 0 times 2. So 8 plus 0. And then plus 0 and then 0 again. So plus 0 plus 0. And then minus um, upper. So 0. So this will become 0. This is also 0. So 0 plus 0. And then this is negative 8. So negative 8. Okay. And then a negative 2. And then plus 0. Okay. So let's try to simplify this one. Actually, we no longer need this line. Okay. So simplifying this one, you'll have... So that's 2 plus 8, that's 10. And then minus negative 10. Okay. So that will become plus, so that's 20 divided by 2. So the answer is just 10 square units. So that is how you get the area by coordinate method. So with that, let's move on to the next topic.